Hey guys, welcome to today's video where I'm going to be just kind of redoing my room. I bought a couple of pieces. I have a rug that I got during Prime Days. It was a really good deal. I got a couple of art pieces from Oval House at Target. I'm gonna flip the camera around in just a second so you can see like the before shot and then we'll do an after. I have lots of little odds and ends in here that don't belong on top of that to kind of redecorate. So I have to do kind of like a pre-clean real quick and then we'll get to the fun stuff. So let's hurry up and get started. So starting, you're gonna see a lot of stuff, but starting from like the little corner where my bedroom door is, this is the main part of my room. <laughs> you can see that everything is a mess. There is half a sandwich from my son and a bowl from the same kid. Shoes and a jump rope. I'm not gonna show you that, that particular corner two detail because we, that's where I keep like my bills and stuff. So just for privacy sake, just to be safe. But this is basically just the main makeup of the bedroom. You can see my TV stand looks, still looks pretty good and dust free, which is good. But yeah, definitely needs a little bit of sprucing up. Now the first thing I did to get started was grab some laundry baskets. I like to do this whenever I have a big job that needs to be done quickly. I basically have a basket for each section of my house. Anything that goes like say in the living room or one of the kids rooms gets tossed into that particular basket. It makes it faster to clean up because I actually don't put everything away until I am completely done with the room. I'm not going back and forth in the house. It saves a lot of time and I highly recommend this when you are in a hurry and you have a huge mess on your hands. Clouds are stirring up the sky I was always in denial of what I saw right in front of me And, every... and now I'm taking out my rug. I wanted to put some baking soda on it and get it vacuumed up just to kind of get rid of that new carpet smell as best as I could because it's really, I mean, it's not unpleasant, but it's pretty strong and I didn't really want my room smelling like that for too long. So I'm just giving it a quick vacuum and then I'm going to reverse roll it so that it lays a little bit flatter. As you can see, I'm moving my furniture around completely here. This did not end well. <laughs> it completely changed the lighting in the room in a way that I did not like. So I basically moved it all and then moved it right on It back. was a bit of a waste of time. Thankfully, the hardwood floors made moving the furniture really, really easy. Otherwise, this would have been even more exhausting than it was. here in kind of the most challenging part of this room refresh I had to actually pull my rug underneath my bed which was pretty heavy I have an adjustable bed frame so the frame itself is incredibly heavy I had a really hard time with it but I did get it done thank goodness but it was definitely a struggle So here's the final result. It's almost the same. <laughs> you can see I was struggling. Yeah, you see I was struggling with moving the furniture around. It just looks better this way. But it looks much cuter. Yeah. Uh, a lot of the furniture got moved by inches, I would say, and it kind of opened up the space a bit. So I'm pretty happy with it. The rug is beautiful, but other than those cups, <laughs> here is the final result. Okay, 
everything looks really good. I'm really happy with it. I thought that I would like the dresser on the other side, but it really made the room oddly look darker for some reason. So it just looks better on this side, but at least I know now. Um, I thought about moving my bed against this wall here, um, even though it's supposed to be like bad feng shui, I don't know. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm really happy with the results. I'm really happy with these two little, um, those two little paintings. They were really inexpensive. They're not big by any means, but they do add a little bit of color, a little bit of prettiness, uh, especially when I, because I sit here to film all the time, so... And you guys are just looking at a blank wall and then my face. So hopefully that'll add a little bit of, a little bit of sparkle or whatever. I'm really tired. I struggled with that rug, moving it under the bed, but I did get it eventually. Um, I'm really tired. I'm really sweaty. Curse words were said. So. <laughs> But overall, I am really happy. I just, I still have a couple of things that I definitely want to do after seeing everything. I most certainly want to get some sort of piece for next to my TV, whether it's a, a standing plant or something. I'm not sure what, but I definitely want to get something there. I want to get this window right here. I want to get um, bamboo shutters and then move these two curtains and then just add them to my... Um, my sliding uh, door just to um, mainly just to get some of the sunlight the sun sets right into that door and in the summertime it's just brutal and then the only other thing I want to do is I want to get a new lamp for my table because I really I hate that lamp that I didn't even buy that lamp somebody bought that and gave it to me and, um, the power. oh I'm sorry I do not like that lamp. <laughs> anyhow guys I'm really happy with the way the room looks it looks significantly better the rug made a huge difference just a few little tweaks made a huge difference i'm so happy I'm with not it. i know honey <laughs> uh i'm really really happy with it i'm very tired i'm very sweaty but satisfied uh anyhow thank you so much for watching please be sure to like and subscribe let me know what you think in the comments and i will see you all in the next one until then take care bye for now